Right, I, I'm still confused, but I'll try again. Um, this combo is so annoying. For starters. But let's see what happens. Hut! Three, four. Finally! High level techniques on display here. Right. Finally got it on tape. <laughs> Let me tell you why how annoying this combo is. It's it might actually be easy for lots of players because they're so precise, right? Now for average people, I'm gonna to explain to you about this combo, why it's so annoying. So first of all, there is the crouching B version of this combo. There's another version of this combo, but I'm not even going to try it, but it should be easier than this one. But a lot of the combos are based on certain things. So you could do the crouching B one, which starts with crouching B, and then into max mode, and into chat strike. This is actually harder than the combo I just did because you have less stun on each of the light hits, and therefore you have to get more repetitions on the other parts of the combo. So on the Ban Retsukens, you need to make sure you get maximum Ban Retsuken juggles, otherwise you won't get the stun. So the easier one to start with is actually kick, back, kick, forward, kick, right? So heavy kick, like that. That's your first step, learn that one, right? <laughs> then we go into max mode. Quick max, as you call it, run forward. You don't need to tap forward, forward, just let it go, and then simply do it again and then cancel that into Shadow Strike. All right, so. Notice I have all the lovely inputs there. You can watch and dodge everything, get the timing right. Okay, so after the Shadow Strike, that's the difficult part. You've actually got to run forward and get a combo. This, you can watch the inputs on the last one, but you just get a feel for it. You literally just get a feel for it. Um, wrong buttons completely. And it's like you don't even see it happening. You can't like just walk forward, right? It's not gonna it's not gonna combo. It's more like right? Just practice it. You have to just keep practicing it until you get the right feeling for it. Or you can copy the inputs if you're super super precise, right? Right, so after that, it's kick, kick, kick again, and this time. You're going to do the Ban Retsuken. Now, the Ban Retsuken, they tell you, of course, is DP. Right. Okay. I suggest you do instead half circle back forward and punch, which will do the same thing. Why? Because you're going to need it later on to do some other stuff where you will not accidentally overlap and then end up with a hurricane. This is the, the best way to avoid doing that because you there is no overlap with Hurricane, right? But if you're doing DP, 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 you'll eventually get that. Unless you're super precise. Again, if you're super precise, you don't need this. Don't worry about it. Okay, fine. But something about the Ben again, the third thing I want to point out is the instant, right? The instant execution, instant finisher, right? Ben Ritsuken has... Oh, Joe's music. That's it's quite uh, coincidental and appropriate at the same time you ban you can you press half circle back punch you'll get the uppercut finisher which we need to juggle and if you do it see that there's a good thing just do half circle back half circle back light punch you'll do the overhead so guess what if you <laughs> if you really wanted to you could do deep dp you could do that and it's, that's not actually what i wanted there you go, right? That's what I wanted. So DP, half circle back, will do the finishes very quickly. But you know what? You don't even have to do that. But of course, aha, hello, right? I was going to say it's not going to work for me now when I want to do it. But for some reason, when I do half circle back, double tap, I get the instant finisher. I don't really know why. And somebody said if you leave a neutral in your half circle back forward you will get the instant ban retsu can finish shot this part of the combo is so annoying because it's a great move 
But when you're trying to do combos, and instead of getting Baritsuken, you get. I oh, see it doesn't work for me now. It's just it, I'm just so inconsistent. But like I said, if your inputs are great, but you watch, you've seen it, you've seen me do this on streams and stuff, whatever. I'm trying to do a finisher with Baritsuken, and he does the instant, and that messes up everything. So it should be like that, and then half circle back. You've got to do a couple hits, right? But he'll he'll do he'll do something stupid. You're like what? And now, now it's working. It's just <laughs> right. Anyway, so after the uh, Bamrits again, like I said, you need to go and do whole loads, right? You cannot. Let's like, so say, for example, here he only got to 15 hits. So if your brains are super smart, you see only 15. That's it. Done. You need to cancel at the end of that 15, or just before the end of the 15. I'm not going to say precisely when anymore because people have different timings. But basically, you want to get to the end of the Bamrets who can. Again, you'll get a feeling for it if you keep doing it. Right, so bat, da, 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 ba, 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 There you go, right? Then you do the finisher. He's juggled up. After the juggle, just simply do the X. You might want to map a button to make it easy so you don't do double press, right? And then after the EX, what was it? Uh, I think it's Hurricane, isn't it? Hurricane up a light punch. Yeah. Forward B. Golden. So heart that's forward with the light kick. You've got to do forward the light kick. And then half circle back with the heavy kick. And the heavy kick should hit three times. And I think this is a real type. Again, people say this is easy. This combo is not easy. If you don't do all the kind of set conditions the right place, it's not going to work. That is is what makes a difficult and kind of stupendous combo right because you can't i mean i remember being a kid and like okay i saw this combo video i'm gonna do the same thing guess what if the positioning's not right the character's not in the right place to hit get hit and do the juggle and it's not gonna work so if you're not getting the con condition right think about what you didn't do before so if you don't get a maximum hits from that, it's probably not going to work. I'd like to know if anybody else knows. But there are three hits, right? And after the three hits, you're almost finished. It's done. But for me, the last part is the most difficult part. After the third hit of the golden heel, you just need to do a Banretsu Ken. And it needs to hit four times. Four times. Once it hits four times, you simply press hard kick and the combo is done. There's another one, like I said, you can watch Harigoro's combo, it's better. I'm sorry Harigo, I didn't actually look at your combo first. I just magically saw this one on Twitter and I decided to learn this one. Muscle memory, I'm, it's too late for me to change. I don't even want to do this anymore, right? But thanks to Hell Pockets, thanks to Renato, thanks to... Uh, the other dude, sorry, I forgot your name. But thanks again, the community is wonderful helping me figure out what the heck is going on with this combo but bruv tell me it took okay it took me a week i'm not gonna lie it took me about two hours practice every day and just getting these combos into chunks it, it is just annoying but once you understand some of the stuff that's going on it's technically it's it's kind of simple but the execution and the, right so it's like uh like after doing that, if you do the hurricane too late, not going to work. If you don't do the EX too fast enough, not going to work. Just do it straight after as much as you can, and the rest is okay. But the last part of the ban you can, uh, that is terrible. So you saw me do it. I was so happy, man. There it is. See, that, that is what's been happening to me all week. If I didn't have that problem, I would have probably done this on day three, right? Six hours, I probably would have done it. But this freaking move, I don't know if you've got, I, 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 I'm sorry, no, it doesn't make sense. It should just be Bam Retsu Ken, right? So you do the Bam Retsu Ken and then you tap the button until he hits four times, let go, press hard kick, combo is done, right? And you've seen what's happened to me. Do 
two, three. Show no mercy. In my in my opinion, that's just magic, magic luck. But look at the inputs. You see what I did? <laughs> I didn't have to wait really. It is kind of simple. You don't have to really kind of micro step some of the harder combos. You like wait to oh move forward a little bit. You don't have to do that with this combo. But I've done it. I'm <laughs> I'm not doing it again. I'm gonna learn Harigoro's combo, which should be simpler. If that was helpful, maybe I'll do another tutorial, but I'm done. Thanks for watching. I hope you were able to learn this stun combo and beat people up because we'll, we'll see with the next nerf, but <laughs> uh, they might keep it because it's not exactly easy. But with practice, you can do anything. So I want you to go out there, kick some ass, get some hurricanes in there, Golden Hill, and bust them up. All right, this is Gunny. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.